After our initial caddy installation, a lot of customization settings can be done. Caddy is so versatile, it allows each user to customize it to their way of operation. What a boring system if everyone was forced to work in a manner that the authors deemed fit. Since I have dedicated the module purely for customization, I will use the default standards to do our project. There are, however, a few settings that we must check. The first setting is the absolute or relative mode. In this case, it is set to absolute ABS and we will change that to relative by just clicking on the ABS. It is now set to relative mode. The next setting is the 2D, 3D option. If you can recall from a previous module, this is where Caddy will snap, whether it is a 3D object or a 2D object. By default, my UCS or user coordinate system is on the WCS or the world coordinate system. As I would require my walls to be placed on the UCS, I will ensure that it is set to 2D. The third setting is not a necessity, but it's a very nice to have. This is the border that we are going to set up and it is a good way of testing our drawing to ensure that our sizes are correct without having to insert dimensions at all. Let's continue by setting that up. I will select model space setup and from the dialog box I will enable show border. My size is A1 and the scale that I want to select is 1 in 100. My base units that I want to use is millimeters. That is correct. I will accept that by selecting OK. We are nearly ready to start with our project. Although you are not forced to work in layers, I'm going to try and create this as a good habit through using this module. And the advantages of using layers are endless. This can also be set up and stored in a template to prevent repetitive setups. If I select my active layer setting, there are 10 layers that are shipped as standard or as default with the caddy installation. We can either modify the existing ones or add our own to the existing list. Let's see how it's done. Let's select the layer setup from our top toolbar. And this is our layer setup dialog box. We are going to modify layer number one which is general working and scratch area and we are going to call that walls. We will continue building on our layer structure as our drawing proceeds. Now let's select our walls layer as our active layer. So I select the drop down list, select walls and our active layer is now set to walls. My active pen and line style is pen 1 and line style 1 and that is what I want to use so I will keep it there. We are going to do our project with AEC walls. Just to recap AEC means architectural, engineering and construction. If your AEC application is not loaded like mine, I want to show you how to do that. So I will unload mine for the moment. To load the AEC application, I will right click anywhere in the application menu. From the pop-up box, I will select load application. Under there, the drop down box gives me a list of the applications. AEC is the first one. I select that, select OK and now it is loaded. Let's start with our project and I will call out the dimensions for each wall as we continue. Let's confirm our active layer is walls and our active pen and line style is pen 1 and line style 1. That is correct. Let's continue with our walls.